Welcome to the 2014 Open Enrollment. Uh, my name is Frida Holderman. I'm your insurance coordinator for the district and I'm going to go over some of the main bullet points of our benefits guide and what you need to do during open enrollment. We're going to start off by remembering that it is very important. October 1st through October 31st, 2013 is open enrollment for everyone. It is mandatory that every single employee go online read, and enroll in a plan. This year you have four plans to choose from. You also have the waiver option. You also have to enroll if you are doing the FSA health care or the FSA dependent care. You have to re-enroll in those also. Again, everyone should have received a 2014 benefits guide from your school contact. If you did not receive that, you can go to the office and um, ask that or you can call me at 869-8013. If you get my voicemail, please leave me a message. It's a busy time, but I will definitely get back with you. Going through the benefits guide, if you will just take a 30 to 60 minutes aside, look through it and read it. It is an excellent book. The state has done very well in going through and explaining things and trying to make it to where we can all understand it. On page 24 in your guide is a pre-planner. If you would take the time to fill that out before you go online, it's excellent to have in front of you. I will tell you that it took me about six minutes to go through mine when I did that first thing on Monday mor or Tuesday morning. Complete the pre-planner, have it in front of you, and then on page 28 there are instructions that will guide you step by step how to go online and register. If you choose a Living Well CDHP or the Living Well PPO plan, there is a Living Well promise that you have to agree to. What that consists of is an assessment test, which is not a pass or fail. It's just an assessment guide to kind of let you know where your body thinks it is versus where it should be. And also you have to agree that you're going to keep all of your personal information current. If you move, change your phone number, any changes at all that you notify the HR department, who in turn will notify me, I will go online and make those changes with the state. Very important, if you plan sign up for either of those policies and you do not do that, you will not have the option of those two in 2015. Very important to remember starting January 1, you would need to go online and do a health care assessment. You should have received your password in the mail. It was a large square envelope, had a, three pages in it. It had instructions on how to go online. It had your password. If you have not received that, you can call 1-877-741-7017 and they will give you a password so that you can get started. Again, please let me say that if you have problems enrolling, um, you can call me or we do have some dates set up that we can go to the schools. You can come in and we're going to have computers set up to where I can assist you in enrolling. Those dates are going to be October 14th from 7.30 a.m. till 9 o'clock a.m. at Roby Elementary. We'll be in the library. We're going to do October 17th in the afternoon from 2.30 to 4.30 at Bullet Central's library. Then again on October 22nd from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. at Roby's library. And October 23rd, we're going to be from 2.30 to 4.30 back to, at Bullet Central. Those are times that I'll have computers set up. I'll be able to assist you with any help, but again, if you have questions, please feel free to call me at 869-8013 or you can email me at Frida, F-R-E-D-A dot Holderman, H-O-L-D-E-R-M-A-N at bullet dot K-Y-Schools dot U-S. You can also go online to www dot K-E-H-P dot K-Y dot G-O-V and look at things online if you choose to handle it that way. Thank you.